Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. We're going to wait three more minutes and let the other students join the class. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hi, good night. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? How do you feel today? Do you feel good? Yes. Very good. I'm ready. I'm ready for the class. Yes. And how was your day? Hello, hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, Rosa, how are you? Are you ready for your English class? Are you ready? Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello. what's going on, Roberto? How are you today? Fine, teacher. It was a very, very, very incredible day. Oh, nice. I am very, very happy to hear that. Tell me what happened today. Uh, now I uh, received uh, my final assignment for my PhD. Mm -hmm. I approved my, te my, my thesis. Mm -hmm. And now I have a PhD in education. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you so that much. That is incredible. So you have a PhD in education. Wow. Yes, teacher. That is incredible. I did it. You did it. You are the man. My respects to you. I need to talk with you so you can teach me something new. <laughs> oh, yes, teacher. Of, of course. And what, what do you teach? What do you like to teach? Well, I'm teaching literature and language, Spanish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And 
in the university, I'm, I'm, I teach a curriculum mm -hmm. assessment mm -hmm. and I have an uh, I have a, a master degree in curriculum design. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very nice. And have you ever thought about teaching English? No. Okay. All right. Well, you can do it in the future. You can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I think. Yeah, you can. You can teach uh, Chinese uh, students, Japanese students. They pay twenty twenty five dollars per hour. Oh. Teaching online with Chinese, Japanese, South Korean, they pay very well. It sounds good. Yeah. It sounds yeah. good. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Roberto. I would like for everybody to applause for Roberto for his awesome achievement. It's not every day that uh, somebody can get a PhD in education, right? That is something very, very difficult. So you deserve the best and we wish you the best because of your sacrifice, your energy, your time. Okay. God bless you. Thank you, teacher. With a, thank you, classmates. With a lot thank of you. money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and um, get started. I would like for you to tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? Who can tell me what information uh, do you remember about the previous class? What vocabulary, what expressions, etc.? We were talking about uh, past, uh, to be past tense, mm -hmm. and WH question mm -hmm. with the past tense. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, does anybody have any questions about the WH questions with the simple past? A question um, referring to the vocabulary or any expressions or topics that you want me to review? Questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. All right. That's very good. Um, Carmen Lovos, I would like for you to ask Roberto. A question. I want you to ask him a WH question. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Where where are you from, Robert? Where? Excuse me. I can hear you. I think she said. Repeat the question. Yeah. Okay. Where were you born, Robert? Ah, I was born in Santa Tecla. Okay. All right. Now, Roberto, ask a WH question to Carmen. Okay. Uh, what were you eat at lunch? I was in at one o'clock okay so in this case the question is where i did you I, eat lunch oh uh, sorry <laughs> uh -huh. when sería cuando uh, no where where aha uh -huh. adonde where where did you eat lunch adonde almorzó i went I went in my home. Oh, okay. So you were to see I ate. I ate lunch. Lunch. At home. I ate lunch <laughs> at, home. at home. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. 
Thank you. Roberto, select somebody. Carmen Lobos, select somebody. Okay. okay. Nelly? Nelly del Carmen? Nelly del Carmen. Um, um, David Arriola. And David Arriola. Nelly del Carmen, ask David Arriola a WH question. David Ariola, respond, please. Okay. Where where you go um, Sunday? Okay. Ahí sería, where did you go on Sunday? Where did you go on Sunday? Okay. On Sunday. I went, I went this Sunday to uh, my mother's house. Very good. I went to my mother's house on Sunday. I went to my mother's house I went on to my mother's Sunday. house on Sunday. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, now David ask a question and Nelly del Carmen respond. Okay, Nelly del Carmen, where did you live? Um, where did you live? ¿A dónde viviste? Yes. Yeah, oh, oh, sorry. Where did you live uh, five years ago? Ah, okay, very good. Where did you live five years ago? Perfect. Okay. Uh, I went to live in Soyapango. All right. I lived in Soya. Pango. I lived in Soyapango. Okay. Very good. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to this topic? Sí, teacher. Um, yes. Okay. Entonces, cuando nosotros hacemos preguntas y le añadimos el did, significa que el responder va a ser una respuesta informativa. Correct. Correct. Okay. Entonces, el verbo tendría que mencionarse solo en pasado. El, el auxiliar es pasado. Did. El verbo live es en simple present. O okay. where did es pasado y go es simple present. Eh, por ejemplo, si yo te digo a ti. Eh, aquí lo voy a escribir. Si yo te digo, where? ¿A dónde fuiste el fin de semana? Where did you go on the weekend? On the weekend. All right. So aquí el auxiliar está en pasado, did. Yes. El verbo go está en simple present, base form. So, en la pregunta, lo que hace la pregunta pasado no es el verbo, es el, el auxiliar. auxiliar del verbo. Ok. Uh -huh. o si Entonces, yo te la digo, respuesta tendría que ir el verbo en pasado. Ahí la respuesta llevaría el verbo en pasado. Por ejemplo, I, I went. went to the beach. Yo fui a la playa. Okay. okay. So aquí el verbo está en simple past y ya no existe el auxiliar. Ok, vamos a hacer un ejemplo más. Eh, por ejemplo, la pregunta fue, ¿a dónde viviste hace cinco años? 
where did you live five years ago? Okay, so el auxiliar está en pasado, did, y el verbo live está en base form, simple present. La respuesta I lived in Soyapango. Soyapango. Ok, so aquí ya no está el auxiliar. Right, ya podemos ver que el auxiliar ya no está. Y el verbo está en simple past. Simple past. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Yes. ¿Algo otra pregunta que quisieran repasar? No, hey, teacher. Ah, uh, sí. Ok. Un segundo. Eh, veo que alguien escribió en el chat. Where did you do last week? Ahí sería. Eh, where no se puede usar con el do. Porque no, no va junto. El where es para go. Where, a dónde, did you go? ¿Todos pueden ver el chat? Where did you go? Yes, teacher. Ok, where did you go eh, last week? ¿A dónde fuiste la semana pasada? La respuesta, I went to Miami. Yo fui a Miami. So, el verbo está en simple past. I went. Para el do sería que hiciste. What did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? What. Ahí sería con what. ¿Qué hiciste? What did you do? Last week. ¿Qué hiciste la semana pasada? Ahí el verbo sería um, I worked. Yo trabajé. Simple past. Um, I exercised. Yo hice ejercicio. I exercised. Um, I cooked. Yo cociné. I cooked. Um, I read a book. I read, leí mi libro. I read a book. Um, I visited my family. I visited, I visited my family. Ahí el verbo va en simple past. Um, fui a la iglesia. I went to church. Uh, fui al cine. I went to the movies. Ahí todos, todos llevan el verbo en simple past. Uh, worked, exercised, cooked, read, visited, went. Todos están en simple past. Another question referring to this topic? Yes, teacher. Is it's correct? Was she sick on the weekend? Yes. Was she sick over the weekend? Y la respuesta sería, yes, she was, o no, she wasn't. Another question? Referring to this topic? No, teacher. Okay. Now I would like for us to continue with the next activity. The next activity is coming from section 5.6, lesson objective. And we are reading from here. 
by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using negative contractions. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usas abreviaciones negativas. I would like for everybody to please listen to the video and then we will review. Vamos a escuchar el video y de allí lo vamos a repasar. Aren't. Weren't. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Eh, ¿Todos escuchan? ¿Todos pueden escuchar el video? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Two syllables. Por favor, tome apuntes. To sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee, and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. All right. So this is a pronunciation activity. Expressing so for this activity, I would end. like for you to for example, read the paragraph. Example, read the paragraph. I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen. And she doesn't like tea. So you are going to read this text out loud. And you're going to record your voice here in Vocaroo. You will go to Vocaroo and you will record your voice here. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. They aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. When you finish, you will guardar y compartir. Copy the link. Go to the platform. Go to añadir. Uh, please keep your microphone on silence. Eh, ¿Quién se gritó el silencio? Ok. Then you will go to título. And then you're going to write 
pronunciation contractions, negative contractions. And then you're going to paste the link here and enviar. Any questions? Any questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. Does anybody no, teacher. have any questions? No. Yes, teacher. I have a question. Yes, Saul Arnulfo, what is your question? Is uh, the pronunciation. Yes, what is the pronunciation? Uh, it's swim suit. Swim suit. Swim suit. Swim suit. Traje de baño. Traje de baño. Yes. Swim suit. Swim suit. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, does anybody else have another question? Okay. Let's... Yes, teacher. Yes, David. Adiola. Um, the pronunciation. Yeah. Yes, teacher. What is the correct pronunciation in the fields? They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Mm -hmm. Hungry. 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 This is the correct. Hungry. That, hungry. 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 That's right. Hungry. hungry. Like you say, <sighs> hungry. Hungry. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Hungry. Yeah. Another question? Okay. I want you to practice in pairs and then record yourself. Ready? Any questions? No, no teacher. Everything is clear. Okay. Let's go. Hey, Rosa. How are you, Rosa? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, Todos se fueron a la sesión privada, menos usted. Uh, ¿Le puedo ayudar en algo? Um, no, es que estaba, estoy metiéndome en la plataforma. Ah, ok. Uh, voy a mandarle la invitación nuevamente para que se pueda ingresar. Eh, porque okay. está con Silvia Rodríguez. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Carmen. <laughs> Carmen. Hola, hola, hola. Estoy lista. ¿Inicias tú o yo? Uh, pero el detalle es de que <ríe> yo como lo tengo en el teléfono, lo, lo tendré que grabar uh, a, eh, acá. Dios. Ajá. Vaya, está bien. Vaya, está bien. Okay. No hay problema. Sí, sí, sí. No hay problema. Gracias. <ríe> Ahí le, le aviso cuando ya termine. Voy a tratar Vaya. de hacerlo rápido. No hay problema.
Is everybody finished? Hi hey, Roberto. Hi, hi David. I finished in, in Boca, Boca Ru. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay. If you want to uh, practice again? Yes. It's cool. Let me see, let me see the pronunciation. Yes. Okay, I start. Okay, go ahead. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. There aren't their swim suits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Okay. They didn't eat they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swim suit. Swim suit. They can swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Okay. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. There aren't their swim suits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Yes, that's right. Okay. These aren't their swim suit. They can't. These aren't. These can't. aren't their swim suit. They, they can't swim. Can't swim. These yes. aren't their swim suit. These. They. These. Yes. Mm -hmm. These aren't their swim suit. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday, and he isn't here today. Yes, that's right. Thank you, man. Okay. 
All right, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need yes. more time? Finish. I'm done. Everybody's done? Yes. Yes, it's done, teacher. Okay, I am finished. Okay, let me listen to one participant. I want to hear one participant. One volunteer for the next one. One volunteer, please. One volunteer, somebody that wants to read the next one. Yo, teacher. Uh, ¿Quién dijo yo, teacher? All right, yeah, Luis, Luis, let me have Luis okay. Monzón. <clears throat> yes, teacher. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swing feet. Mm -hmm. They can they can swing. Mm -hmm. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Very good. All right. Uh, another participant that wants to read Saul Hi. Arnul. Okay, go ahead. I am, I am, okay. <laughs> they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Mm -hmm. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Mm -hmm. These aren't their swimsuit. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Mm -hmm. Awesome. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. Very good. Uh, let me have... Um, who said, who said I, who was it that said I, me, I don't know who me is, hi teacher, Marilyn, oh Marilyn, hello Marilyn, okay, Marilyn, action, can you hear me, I can hear you, but when you say I, I'm like, who is I, okay, mm -hmm. action, mm -hmm. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. Mm -hmm. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. Mm -hmm. These aren't their swimsuit. They can't swim. Mm -hmm. He wasn't here to yesterday and he isn't here today. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Very good. Okay. I, I know that everybody wants to participate. Everybody wants to read. Uh, but we have to move forward, guys. Okay. Let's look at the next activity. If you're not finished, this is going to be your homework. Uh, section 5.8, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and were. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a hacer y responder preguntas interrogativas, WH, con did, was y were. Además, practicarán una conversación al cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. WH questions with did, was, and were. So at this moment, we are going to listen to this video. The questions are where, when, why, how, what, how, and then the auxiliary did, and then the verb in the base form, grow up, come, become, were, was. Are you ready? Please take notes. Tome apuntes en su libreta. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, 
you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past did. After that we need to add the subject you. Next we include the verb in the present tense grow up. Finally we can add a complement. In this case there is no complement. Towards the right hand side of this chart you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity. Okay, guys. So you're going to write five examples. 
I want you to give me five examples with where did or when did or why did and how and where and what and was and how and was. You select five questions, five responses, and you are going to write them here in the discussion forum. Uh, titulo, you're going to put WH questions. And then you're going to write the questions here. For example, where did you study? ¿A dónde estudiaste? I studied in Houston, Texas. ¿De dónde te graduaste? Where did you graduate from? I graduated from University of Houston. Do you have any questions? And then you're going to submit. All right. We are going to work in pairs help each other. Do you have any questions at this moment? No. Okay, let's go. Let's go.
All right, guys, is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time. Sure. We need more time. Okay. We need more time. All right. I don't finish. All right. All right, so Saul, Herson, and Luis, you can work as a trio. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hey, what's... Una question. What's going on? Eh, si, eh, si coloco, eh, si escribo, where did you born? Estaría buena la pregunta. No. Where did you born? No. Where were you born? Where were where? you born? Where were you? Born. Where were you born? Uh, where where did you born? Hi. Um, I write, why did you take this class? And my answer is because I need to learn English. Is correct. Why did you take, take this class? This class. And what did you respond? Because I need to learn English. Ah, okay. Because, C-A-U-S-C, -E, because I need to learn English. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Need to learn English. Okay. That's right. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Of course. Ahora sí tengo las las cinco. Okay. En mil
All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. All right, Roberto, raise your hand. Okay, let me listen to your questions and responses, Roberto. Okay, teacher, the number one. Yeah. Where did you play soccer on the weekend? I, I play at the stadium. When did you come to El Salvador? I came yesterday. Where did you go at noon? Oh, I went to my mom's house. Uh, what was your major in college? It was education. Um, how old were you in 2000? I was 27. And how was your last vacation? It was awesome. Very good. All right. Good job, Roberto. Uh, let me listen to Carlos Crespin. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Um, where did you grow up? I grew up in Salvador. Why did you become operator of production? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1996? I was two years. How was college? It was fantastic. Where were I am was born in North Scotland? Perfect. Awesome. Very good, Carlos. Thank you. Let me have Carmen Lovos. Hello. Okay. <laughs> yes. My first question is, why did you study English? Uh, I studied English because I like this language. Where did you went yesterday? Where did you went or where did you go? Uh, I read go. <laughs> mm -hmm. I write go. Okay. Where did you go yesterday? I went to the supermarket. When did you visit your parents? Visited or visit? When did you visit? Visit. No, visit. El auxiliar visit. did hace la pregunta pasado. Ah, el verbo va en okay, su okay, okay. forma <laughs> base. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Es la hora. Ah, I imagine when did you, you are sleeping. Your parents. I visited my parents yesterday. yesterday. All right, perfect. All right, guys, good job for everybody. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Thank and you. We have concluded today's class. Uh, we will continue tomorrow. Please move forward in section five and also work on the final exam. Bye bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye.